A family who were trying to enjoy a picnic on the Downs near Bristol were suddenly stopped when fluorescent jacketed men approached them and told them to take down their windbreak because it was a semi-permanent structure. Is this possibly evidence of... Oh, just a moment. You have permission. Pardon? You have permission. Have permission? permission? Yes. Permission? Yes, of course. To do a film? Yeah. Well, why, why do we you need permission? On the office, you know, ask. Oh, I, 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 I don't think we'll worry about it. A family trying to enjoy a picnic on the Downs near Bristol were suddenly stopped when a bunch of people in fluorescent jackets came up to them and stopped them doing it because they said they had a windbreak up and a windbreak constituted a semi-permanent structure and that that wasn't allowed under the council regulations and I'm sure they can't... I'm sure they put... What? Sorry. Sorry, stop Sorry, what, Sorry, can you stop? Can you stop? Sorry, why? Uh, well, why do we, we need permission to film in here? Please. Why do we need permission? Because you do. You work, why why work, do we? Because you're on Westminster grounds. Well, we're on Westminster grounds out there. I know, but the, you so need we don't permission. need permission. Yes, you do. No, we don't. It's just a park. There seems to be no end to the zealousness of councils these days, and uh, uh, nothing which they will not stop us doing, no matter how harmless it might seem, no matter what total and utter lack of damage it does to anyone else. It seems to me to be a case of officiousness. But it's not only that, because at the time that they're stopping us filming in a park or having a picnic with a windbreak, they're also filming us with their CCTVs. They're finding out more information than ever was the case before through looking through our rubbish um, and through the databases which they hold upon us. And you begin to ask, why are they doing this when we're paying them so that we can have happier lives? Could you tell me why I'm, you're stopping us? I'm stopping you because you need permission to have a tripod here. A tripod? Why? Is that, is that because it's a semi-permanent structure? Possibly. Let's not use the tripod. Have you ever met a local council official who you would wish to be in charge of a CCCTV camera? Uh, no, I haven't personally. No, I mean... No, absolutely not. Well, why? Because it's not just about CCTV. I know this is your interest. But people object to us filming. Uh, I mean, that's one of the weird things. Absolutely. No, it's a ridiculous thing. Constantly we see officials saying, can you not film, when all the time they're filming us. They think they've got the right to film us, but we have no right to film them. Why, why do you think that is? Um, I have no idea. It's almost that they don't understand oh. the principle of... Uh, principle of what? Sorry? Sorry Excuse me, here? do you mind? Yes. You, you were pointing your camera into our building. I just want to know why, please. Why, why shouldn't we point the camera into the building? I'm asking a question. Can you answer it for me, please? Uh, because we'd like to see what it looks like. Why? Because we're interested in buildings. Yeah, because you shouldn't be photographing this building, OK? Why, why shouldn't we be photographing because the you, building? Because you shouldn't. Why? Okay. I'm asking you a question. So, sometimes I think there's a danger of fetishising privacy and... Fetishising privacy? That, yeah. <laughs> do go on. <laughs> Well, it's where, it's where people sort of have become so obsessed about what they see as invasions to privacy that they want everything private and they sure. kind of believe that everything they, any kind of information is personal to them. And in fact, it's not. So, for example, if I was walking down the street, I can easily see the houses on either side and the addresses and I can see the cars and so forth. Um, so why should I, if I wanted to take a photograph or something, I should be able to do that on a public street. And some people will think, no, you can't do that. You need to come and ask my permission if you want to take a picture of my house. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, no, I was just wondering what it was that you were uh, filming. All it, all it was, because obviously I saw you pointing the camera directly at the security. Oh, what? what uh, the security what? At the uh, CCTV cameras. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing a piece about uh, CCTV cameras for the Sunday Times. Oh, right. Uh, it's for the Sunday Times online. OK, have you got um, any authority from Westminster Council to be... No, we don't need authority just for a handheld camera. Right, don't need I, that. I just thought I'd come over and check, obviously, because it just looks a bit suspicious pointing the camera directly at the uh, CCTV camera. So You're choking, mate. <laughs> got to be careful, haven't you? You'll very quickly find that it's not about safety at all, and I advise everybody to try and do this. You, uh, you just take a camera, film a CCTV camera, and see how quickly you get uh, harassed by some uh, security guard, police officer, jumped up apparatchik. Um, it'll be very quick. And I think that that shows you that it's, it's, um, it's not that filming a CCTV camera is harmful, but what it's doing is challenging the system, and particularly it's challenging power. Well, here's, here's another one. He's already been stopped, Mark, our cameraman, for, for filming before I even got there, uh, and uh, issued by the Metropolitan Police with a sort of ticket 
uh, asking him uh, who he is and what he's up to. Uh, and they tell him that this is going to go on a database for a year and it's to check to make sure he's at the Sunday Times rather than presumably the Daily Mail, uh, <laughs> in which case they'd stop him, presumably. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, and yet all the time we're being filmed by the CCTV. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And what's also ridiculous here is that, the, that somehow uh, the state can't tell the difference between a normal person and a terrorist. I mean, if you've got the average person on the street said to them, is this person here a terrorist, they're going to say to you, no, of course they're not. Oh, I don't so, know. Have a look at him. Well... <laughs> Possibly in this case, it might be some confusion, but normally people could work that one out. And if you look at these tickets, what are they doing? What on earth? And how are much does it cost them to process them? Well, an awful lot of money. And just the fact I noticed on that one is called Stop and Account. Stop and Account. This is when an officer requests a person in a public place to account for themselves. Account for yourselves, you scruffy little twat. Um, i.e., their actions, behaviour, presence in an area, or possession of anything. Possession of anything. Uh, and it says at the bottom in big letters terrorism. Ah. The interesting thing is that this is an issue which annoys both the right and the left. Complaining about jobs was from the local council stopping you doing stuff is a traditional recourse of the grumpy old git of the right, the YOY merchants. But similarly, uh, complaining about civil liberties infringements and surveillance is a traditional cry from the left. Truth is, it's the same whatever way you cut it. People with too much power and too little accountability treating the rest of us like serfs.